welcome back to Megan's Kitchen. Today I'm joined by two special guests. Say hi, Riley. Hi. Say hi, Raymond. Hi. Uh, today we're going to make a black bean salsa. And I got this from page 15. And it's, uh, if you could see it, it's called black bean and corn pita. I'm not going to use the corn pita. I got this book from the Department of Public Health. Um, Sandy Earl and Kelly Kyle, uh, they work in Humboldt County and they provided me with this material. Uh, this is on page 15. If you're interested in this book, hit me up on Facebook and I'll get you one. Um, what I'm going to be using is um, the Kamad Black Bean. I got this from my food commodities from Hoopa Food Distribution. I'm going to be using the, the corn from there. I got this also from food distribution. I got some Roma tomatoes and some avocado. Now avocado are, are full of different vitamins and minerals. They're a healthy fat. They're full of omega-3s. And uh, they're also good for when you're working out. You wanna add and boost potassium. Avocados have that in there. I'm gonna be using cilantro from George at Synergy Seeds in Willow Creek. He provided this in our veggie club bag share. And so I'm gonna let my chefs that are anxious to help, help me out here today. So what I'm gonna have you do, Raymond, is dump this black beans into the bowl. Riley, dump some corn into the bowl. Half of it, not all of it. That's a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to have Raymond dump some tomatoes in. And Riley, put some of the cilantro in that we've chopped up. I just put all of it in there because there's more. Yep. And then Raymond and Riley, both of you guys, squeeze the lemon in there. Squeeze it tight. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Oh, lemon, I can taste it. Okay, that's a little sour. Yep, pretty sour. Let me see your face. Show the sour face. Okay, so they're putting that in there. I'm gonna add the avocado in. So what I did is I sliced my avocado this way and that way, and I'm gonna scoop it out with the Mom, spoon. can we use the spoon? This, to mix it? No, no, we can use the spoon to come out the avocado too. You wanna bring the avocado out? Yeah. Can you handle that job? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Riley. Ra Raymond, I want you to take, so I got some garlic here uh, from uh, Costco, and I just need a spoonful of that. Raymond, could you take a spoonful out and add it into our dish, please? Now, also the dish uh, requires crushed peppers, so I got this from Ray's Food Place for $3.99, a whole bunch of it. It also calls for cayenne pepper and come out, come out, come out. chili powder. So I got these all from Ray's Food Place. You can see they're $3.99, but these will last for a long time. No, I better do that. These are hot, so I don't want him to get it in his eyes or anything. So I will do it. So I'm going to shake it in there. I'm going to shake it. I'm going to shake in my cayenne pepper. Can I do that? I got it. It's hot. Oh, Got my cayenne pepper in there and my chili powder. Chili powder? Yeah. Now look at, see I told him he wasn't going to be able to do it all, but he tried. He got half of it out of there. I'm going to put the rest of it in there. I didn't do that. I know, Riley did Can not. Can you stir it around? Hold on, let me mix it up a little bit better. Mmm. Now we'll be using this on our breakfast burritos in the morning when we get ready for wrestling. My boys are wrestlers. Show them your muscles. So they need a lot of protein in their diet. And this black bean um, salsa is plum full of protein. And so that's what we want to add to their diet. And we're going to make some kale and egg and uh, turkey bacon uh, breakfast burritos in the morning. And we're going to top our breakfast burritos with this. The the now check it out. Look at all those beautiful colors. I'm going to shine my light on it better. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Looks delicious. Now, I want to thank Raymond and Riley for joining me today. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye! You're stupid! I'm sorry out there. I really do apologize for that. Um, 
I just want to thank the programs and the people that helped make this possible. I would like to thank the viewers because you guys are the ones that helped me get this beautiful I camera and this set up. And oh. I would just like to thank the Hoopa Family uh, Research Center for employing me to do some cooking at the diabetes clinic. I will be there on April 11th uh, at the clinic to doing a cooking show where I'll be featuring this recipe. Um, I'd also like to thank the health